Hello and welcome to this video on fuzzy joints. This is the second part of the video. In the first part, we talked about single criteria. In this one, we are talking about multiple criteria. Here are the four libraries or packages which we are going to use. And here is a sample data. So we will have two sample data. One would be the admissions data, some fictitious admissions data, which has the patient name, age, and outcome. So let's create it. And let's also view this. I'm using the GT library to view the data on the screen. You can see that we have patient name, age, and outcome. Let's create our second data set now. And in this data, we have the name, age at discharge, and disposition. Deliberately, I've made some changes in the names, some misspellings also. Like you can see that um, in the disposition, I've used some misspellings or different spellings for the outcomes. So let's try to use these two data sets and do a fuzzy join. Let's view this data and you can see that we have name, age at discharge and then disposition. With these two data sets, let's do a, a fuzzy join using multiple criteria. Let's start doing our multiple criteria fuzzy join. So, But to keep the thing simple, let's start with the single data field first or data column first and see how it's done. So here is our first data set, admissions. Here is our second data set. And we are saying patient name equals name. And we don't want an exact match. We want the matching function to be the string distance of x and y and where the distance is less than 2. So th this is what is going to give us a fuzzy join. So the names won't be exactly matched, but they'll be a match based on the string distance. So in this case, less than 2. If you view the data using the GT command, we would see that the an inner join has been created, but the names are not exactly matched. So there's a slight difference in this. John equals John, Ramesh equals Ramesh. So you can see that there is one character difference. Because remember, we said string distance less than 2. That means 1. So if there is one character here and there is going to match it. For example, John has John matched with J-O-N. But you can see that the outcome is different. In the first case, the outcome was alive and the disposition says the person died. So maybe this is not an exact match. And we can use multiple criteria to get our data right because in this case, the, the two Johns look to be different because one was um, uh, discharged alive, the other was discharged died. So there's a difference. So maybe it's diff two different people. So let's start working it out by adding more complications or more differences. You, before we go any further, you can see that I can do a left join, inner join, right join, etc. like any normal join. So if I do a left join, let's see what it does. So everything from the left hand data set would be available. And if um, there's a missing data, in the right hand side, then it will be shown as NA as you can see in this case. Another useful technique is to use the anti join. Now, anti join is going to give us those rows which don't match at all. So let's try running this fuzzy anti join. Everything else remains the same. And if I view the data which we have got after the match, there's only one record in there. This is the record which never had any match. So let's go back to our main topic again. We are trying to match the data on two fields now. Apart from using the patient name, we can also try to match the data based on the age. So that will give us the indication whether the patient name has been matched properly or no, because the patient name might be John, but if one is 20 years old on the other side is showing 80 years of old, then obviously it's not the same person. Okay, let's make some changes into our matching functions. So in this case, instead of using less than 2, I'm saying less than 3. So it'll make it a bit more flexible when it's matching the name. But for the age, I want to have the age match exactly. That's why I've used the double equals 2 in there. So if I run this, and so the first, the name is matched. John equals John, that's fine. But then we say that the age is exactly the same. So in this case, the age was exactly the same. That's why this has uh, been captured in the in the final data set. Now, let's start making more changes to that to make it more clear. So again, I'm going to use two different fields. 
but slightly a different way of matching. Now here is another command. In the first case I'm saying patient name is equals name and we are saying that the string distance would be less than 3 for the patient name. Here we are and then age equals age at discharge but I've written a function where the absolute difference is less than equals 5. In this case we are hoping to catch all those records where there is a difference in age instead of 30 it could be 34 and so on. So if I see the output of the data you would see that it has matched more records now. First of all the names where there is a difference of um, less than two characters or less than three characters has been captured and also the age where there is a difference of like two years, three years, up to four years would actually be shown as, as uh, a match. So now we have a data set which has been matched on two fuzzy fuzzy joins or basically two fuzzy criteria or fuzzy logic whatever you want. To. Now practically you would also want to match the disposition whether the patient died or patient was discharged alive in both the data sets that will be a good way of uh, getting a closer match. So again using the same two data sets but in this case we are using three criteria. So string distance less than 3 for patient name and age uh, has to be less than equals 5. The absolute difference of x minus y that means the age in the first table and age in the second table. And then the third one is again a string distance less than 3. So let's see what happens when we run this multiple criteria and do a fuzzy inner join. Let's view the data. You can see the fourth record which was bill was dropped because in that case the match was there but in the first table it said the patient died and the second one it said the patient was alive. See you can see that bill name matched but the disposition didn't match. Whereas when we use three criteria it has actually given us a more practical and more exact match of those uh, three uh, two data sets. In the next video we will talk about how to do matching on inexact date ranges also using the fuzzy matching criteria. Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.